Hey there, my name is David Mitch Wells Jr. I am a junior at the University of Michigan Ann Arbor pursuing a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. My name is Rex, I'm a sophomore and I'm studying neuroscience. Hey, my name is Tejas Tabol. I am a sophomore mechanical engineering student at the University of Michigan. My name is Gopal Parthasarthi and I'm a sophomore in chemical engineering. My name is Ben Todd and I am a sophomore biomedical engineering student. Hi, my name is Yulia Dover and I'm a freshman in LSNA. Hi, my name is Maria Capasuala and I'm a sophomore and I'm studying public health. Hi, my name is Kieran. I'm currently a sophomore in Michigan studying neuroscience. The reason I wanted to join MedLaunch is because I think there's a lot of value in applying an engineering mindset to medicine. And I was interested in learning more about the connection between science and design. The reason I joined MedLaunch was I don't really get to make anything in my major. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to just, you know, make some stuff rather than just going to lectures and remembering everything. I met some of the board members at festival and I really liked the connection between like science, technology and medicine. I thought it was super like interdisciplinary and I really liked that. This year, our community partner was a C4 quadriplegic, which means he's almost completely paralyzed from the next down. He has limited arm mobility, who wanted to play guitar. He used to be really into music and play tons of instruments, and he really wanted to continue playing the guitar. We realized that the main problem was that James needed the help of his caretaker to place the guitar on his lap. So we want to help him create a way that allowed him to play the guitar by himself comfortably. Our original idea to help James play the guitar again was to design a tool that would help him strum and finger the correct chords. We started the process brainstorming through different designs and looking at other accessibility-oriented guitar stands. We realized that if we created a new guitar stand, James would have the freedom to play the guitar whenever he wants, and the guitar stand would place the guitar at a better angle compared to if it was just laid on his lap. So through building something purely mechanical like this guitar stand, there was a lot of ideas that we generated and with that comes a lot of prototyping. So we ended up initially having two stands, one that held the base of the guitar, one that held the neck that he would wheel between, play the guitar. And then the second stand would also have wheels which would allow him to push it against the wall when he wasn't using it so that he could set it up by himself but also not take up room when he wasn't using it. We had a lot of adjustability. It could move forward and back, as well as swing in and out, and then move up and down to adjust to his chair. Prototyping was really difficult for us at the start because it was hard to just take the initial step and start prototyping. But a lot of people in our in our um, group were really hands-on, so I feel like we all started just taking that initial first jump and we really got into it. We divided into two different sub teams and we each focused on different parts of a prototype that we wanted to complete. And so after a couple of weeks, when the design reviews came around, we were able to combine our ideas and see how effective they were together as one working prototype. Our design changed very, very little over our iterative process. When we met with James this semester and we also had a few design reviews, we decided that we were gonna to switch to a one stand mechanism. We also decided to eliminate some degrees of freedom with kind of having it rotate and move vertically, which would have been nice, but wasn't strictly necessary, would have overcomplicated the design, made there be more points of failure, made it, which would be less reliable. Obviously it would be hard for him to maintain himself. Currently our prototype is, I would say halfway to final, but um, the coronavirus situation has stunted that. Um, but we're not hurt by that. We're still gonna keep progress going. We're gonna keep, you know, doing things on the digital side. Yeah, I just think that so far we've done amazing um, in terms of making this thing a possibility, you know, a reality. And we're just trying to push it to the final stages.